Okay, so we've created a blog post content type in our project. So we have these individual blog post pages, but we need a way to aggregate them like this all blog page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new content type, but this is going to be a single content type. And what that means is it's only a one off. So our home page is a single content type. And if we look over to our project here, you know, it's a single content type, because if you look in the content folder, we have two content types. One is posts, which is a regular content type that has many different files. And then there's a single content type index, which we're using for our homepage here. So if I were to come back over here and look at our homepage, so there's only one piece of content in the whole site that's going to look exactly like this. And that's our homepage. So that's why we do that. We're going to do another one of those one offs here for the blog page. So this is the blog landing page on our example site. And let's go ahead and create that right now. So I'm going to go back to my terminal here and I'm going to run a command similar to my last one. So the last time we created a content type, so we created that post content type with this command, plenty new type posts. Now we're going to do plenty new type and I'm going to call this one blog and I'm going to pass a flag that says single. So that's going to create this as a single file content type. So let me just create that. You'll see up here that this blog JSON is created here. So I can come here and let me just add a title for this page. So if you don't add some valid JSON to this, so you need at least the curly brackets, even if they're empty, uh, it'll break your build process if you don't do that. So make sure you at least put those in there. And then I'm going to title this latest news. So title, and we'll call this latest news. And then I can save that. And this command over here created a corresponding template for this blog. So if you look into your layout content folder, you'll now have a blog.svelte, which is going to be empty at the moment. And what we can do is we can pull in that title. So let's just take a look at what the HTML is here for this title. So we have a couple things. So we have a section, a container, and then we have this. So let's grab this whole section here. So let's edit this as HTML. And let's grab this top here. Actually, we can grab this whole thing like this. It's the whole thing we want there. Okay, so we're going to paste that markup in here like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get that title value from our content source. So script and we'll do export let title because that's the name of the key that we gave it. And then in here, instead of just hard coding latest news, we'll put latest news like this. Now, you're probably thinking this is an individual content type, so maybe it's not that important to separate the content from the layout. And that's kind of true in this very specific case, but in the future, if you want to edit the content or you want to connect it to the CMS, you actually want that content source to be separate so you can still make edit changes without having to go into your template and changing those things. So there we go, we have a blog and it has title, title, okay, so let's save that. Let's make sure our server's still running here. Okay, so our server's running. And if we come back over here and we go to our, let's just, actually, I want to open this in a new window so we can see some of these URL paths here. If we come over here to our blog page, you can see here we have the latest news title printed there. And let's make sure we have the right path. So this isn't a theme folder and a subfolder called this, but the actual path that we want added there is blog. So we're keeping with that format. That looks great. Now, notice that on this page, there's actually, no other styles, there's no other content in here besides content that we're pulling from other sources. So these are all individual blog posts that we're pulling in. And so we're not actually getting that content from this page specifically, we're actually pulling them from other objects. So I'll show you how to do that in just one second here. But first let's see what's going on with this style. This looks like a little thin here. So I wanna see what's happening with this H3 here. So I'm gonna get out of the edit as HTML. I'm gonna click on this H1. And we have this display three text here and we have some overrides. So let's grab these. I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to create a style tag and I'll paste that in here. So we can scope that to the specific element. That's fine here. Save that and then come over here and reload this. Okay, so that made it a little bit smaller and let's just see what's giving it this weight, so this font weight here. Let's grab this as well. Make sure these are coming through. Save. Come over here. 
So I'm just playing around with this here and it looks like the font weight is closer to about 500. Now I'm not sure exactly where that style is coming in, but I think I feel comfortable just calling it that. So let's come back over here and get this more similar like that and come back over here and reload this. Okay, so now we have a font weight that looks similar to what we're seeing here. And now we can think about start pulling in some of these blog posts. The easy way to just pull in some blog posts would be, let's take a look at what the markup looks like for each one of these. So we have the container here. We have a section and this incorporates all this different information. So let's grab this container here and let's copy all this and let's bring it in Let's see, this is outside of the header section here, so these are separate, so we'll put it below this section that we already have here. And it looks like I didn't get that ending section here, so this should have another closing section tag. Okay, and let's do a couple things here. I didn't get the opening section either, so let's make this a section. Okay, and we already have the close, so that's okay there. And let's just format this real quick. So this first item here is the featured item. We'll come back to that in a little bit. But these other items here are the repeating items. So you're going to see these are styled very similarly. So there's going to be three of them, I believe, on each page. So we have one, two, three. And then we have some pagination down here at the bottom. So that's what you're seeing there. So let's just, for now, let's do something like this. Let's get rid of all these other ones. So we'll get rid of these second two here because we're going to repeat those using a for loop. So I'm going to get rid of that. Pull this pagination. All right, and let's actually grab this whole pagination section here. And let's put this into a separate component for now. So I'm gonna grab that, copy it, and let's just say that we're going to get a component called pagination and we'll place it here and we have to make sure that we import it so import pagination from and we're going to get this from one folder up in a folder called components and something called pagination.svelte and that doesn't exist yet so we have to come over here to our components folder and let's create a new component. So we'll do a new file and we'll call it pagination.svelte. And then inside here, let's just paste our pagination that we just copied. And we can grab this and move it over. And for now, that'll be okay. It's hard coded with all the wrong values at the moment. But for now, we'll just say that's okay. And let's just come over here and our site's gonna be a little broken, but let's reload this and see what's going on. Okay, so we're pulling in a bunch of information. So we have the featured item here and it's getting the URL and the links and everything from the Hugo site. So you see it's still linking over there. So that's not correct, but, but we can add our own information in there. And then we have one blog post here and then we have some pagination here. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on there. Come to our blog section. Okay, so it's the one blog post that I left there. I had deleted some of the other ones. And what we want to do here is we want to do something like this. So there is a special prop that comes with plenty called all content. And this is a way that you can pull out information from other pages on your site. So you can get the all content prop here. And if you were to come down here, and we could say for each all content, 
and then we want to filter and we'll filter this by content we'll do an arrow function here so we'll say that for each one of these items we'll sign it as content and then we'll get the content dot type so every node in the back end is going to have a content type and we'll say give us only the post or they're called posts rather so plural post content type and so we're filtering that and we'll filter each one of those as post and then we'll end our each loop right around this block here and then inside here we can get the values from each one of these individual posts so for instance we have our image source now this is going to be like the last one so we're going to come here and we'll do something like this we'll say assets and then instead of post one.jpg we want to get whatever post it is so we'll say give us the post dot fields so because they're fields that we specified we specified our own content source they come in this property called fields and we have a field called image for this and image has a sub property called source so we're getting that information just like that and we'll similarly get this alternative text here so let's just do something like this and we'll say give us the post dot fields image dot alt okay now we have it looks like a link here it's an h3 so it's a heading 3 and it links to the actual post page and it has some text so I think this is the title so again we can come in here and let's do something like this so for our link we'll say give us the post dot path so path is another one of those attributes that will be assigned to each one of the nodes so you can get the path out of it and over here this would be let's see let me grab this and this would be the post title so we'll go post dot fields again because this is a key that we defined ourselves fields title and then we have that now we also have so text so heading example so let's take a look at what we're seeing here here's an example of headings okay so this is some of the truncated text from the post so for now let's just get the the body and we'll adjust that later so let's come in here and I'm gonna grab this and I'll say give me the post dot fields dot body and again we have a read more link and it goes to the same thing as what our title was going to so we can basically use the same convention here so I'm going to get rid of this href here and we can do the same thing we did up above so we can do post.path copy that and we'll do post.path there and we can leave it as read more and let's just save this and see what we're working with here so I'm going to first just fix this indentation and let's save see if we get any errors that built that was okay okay so then let's reload this okay so now we're getting these posts here now you can see that we're getting some HTML that's thinking that this is a string that's because we didn't actually tell this body field here that we want this as HTML so you come in here and if you wanted to you could say display HTML although that's going to give some of that oops, that will allow some of the formatting to come through so you'll start seeing bold uh, text here which may not be something that you want but let's just reload this okay so now you see paragraph and you see it like that okay so that kind of works um, our links here should be going to our actual posts now so if we click on one of these it actually goes to one of the posts and if you click over here again we're still on our local site but it's going to the post so that's working pretty good but we have a couple of issues so 